Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Yolo and I'm back with another video. So as you can probably tell by today's title, I will be reviewing a couple of lip combinations. So the purpose of this video is basically to show some lip combos for people who are just getting started um, that go good for people with my skin tone um, and my lip color, which I feel like is really important. These I use on a regular basis. Um, other ones I am trying for the first time. Okay, so for today's I have chosen two lip liners and four different lipstick gloss combinations. So let's get started. Okay, so as y'all can tell, <laughs> what? As y'all can tell right now, my lips just have gloss on them, looking plain. Um, I am going to start with my favorite combo. I literally use this probably. I literally use this probably every day. Not kidding. Um, so I'm gonna start with the infamous Mac. Chestnut liner. I don't know if I see that. This is not chestnut. Okay. Let's try this one. Okay, I'm gonna start with the infamous MAC lip liner in the shade Chestnut. This is my favorite. Shade Madeline. Okay, so boom, that is that. If y'all see my lace lifting, my new business. I'm gonna remove this for the next one. Another one of my favorite combinations. Um, this is Chestnut again. And I'm going to pair it with MAC Dazzle Glass. It is in the shade Go For Gold. white stuff in the corner of your mouth that's not cute so cute if you're looking for like a shimmery long-lasting lip gloss kind of look this is it okay so now that my two go-to's are out of the way what's going on my hair? I'm going to be experimenting with these other combinations that I think go well with my skin so let's see here I have the Mac night moth pencil you can see this is you're not that thirsty so as you can see this is more of a purple less on the red side like chestnut we're gonna go in with some more lip glass by mac in the shade low cut Okay, so this seems glossy. Um, the liner, a little difficult to see because the gloss is so dark, but I think it gives it that little, mm, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how it would look without it. I'm gonna take this off and we're gonna go to the next one. 
Okay, so my boyfriend is fake because I had lipstick on my teeth this whole time. And he didn't say nothing. Anyway, so I just went back in with MAC Chestnut. You know, I don't have nothing against Night Moth, but Chestnut is home for brown skin girls, if you know what I'm saying. Then I'm gonna go in with this Satin Lipstick by MAC. Um, there it is. Probably can't see it well, but it's in the shade Photo. Now, I'm not really a lipstick person, I'm not gonna lie, but you know, if I'm feeling risky, a little risky, I'll put on some lipstick, okay? So, what's it called? Photo. I mean, it's definitely a win because it's brown. Not my favorite, but I feel like it's matching the vibes of chestnut liner slight red undertone to it which I like you know it's just not an everyday wear so yeah I like her though we can be friends okay let's just let's just try some try some real quick let's just see okay so this is like a little plain for me because you know it's not gloss it just looks like lipstick it looks like lips so let's try it paired with one of my glosses maybe the dazzle glass let's see let's see if it'll Yes, that definitely spiced her up. You will fall in love with it. But oh, yep, there they are together on my lips. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I hope that you found it helpful um, if you're looking to experiment or if your skin tone or lip color is close to mine. Um, I just hope this will help you, you know, like lips are important. important. Lips are important. They complete the whole look. So I'm going to let y'all go get together and I thank you for watching.